All right, so in this video, I'm gonna tell you five things that you should never do when you're trying to reality shift. So if you're trying to shift, don't do these things. And th this applies to when you're kind of setting yourself up for the shifting, like during the day, you know, before you go to sleep, and then also while you're trying to do it, and even afterwards as well. So the first thing that you should never do when reality shifting is be fearful or expecting bad things to happen. So you've got to understand, and this kind of relates to the way that reality shifting works, is that your consciousness, and specifically your frequencies and what you focus on, what you give your energy to, um, becomes your reality. So this is known as waveform reality. If you think of there being kind of two planes of reality, I mean, there's, there's multiple planes of existence, but for this example, let's just think of these two specific planes of existence. You have the implicate and the explicate, or you could say the enfolded and the unfolded. So the enfolded is where you kind of, it's like a, a series of possibilities and potentials which makes up, when enough people you know, believe that they're gonna happen, the unfolded, which is what we know as physical reality. So with reality shifting, what you're really doing is you're changing the storyline in the implicate level, the enfolded level. So not the physical reality, you're changing what then becomes the physical reality. Think of it like when you put a DVD disc into a DVD player, that story will play out. And no matter how many times you shout at the DVD player while it's playing, or you wish you could change things, you can't really change the film because the CD is in the, in the player and that's what's gonna play, right? So, that, so with what reality shifting is, is you're essentially changing the film. You're, you're changing the point of awareness from the reality you're currently in to the, your desired reality. It's basically like you've decided, okay, this movie that I'm experiencing now is not what I want to experience. So instead of screaming and shouting and trying to change it, you're gonna change the film that's being projected. And this goes right back to the holographic reality theory, which um, is an incredibly interesting quantum mechanics theory analysis, I guess you could say. It goes beyond quantum mechanics. Uh, it's actually a book. I would highly recommend you read that book if you're in any way interested in lucid dreaming and uh, reality shifting. It's, uh, I'll put a link in the description. I didn't write it, but it's amazing. And so what you wanna make sure is that you're not fearful and you're not kind of, because you've gotta understand your, what you focus on, what you give your energy to becomes your reality. So if you go into shifting and you're kind of scared, then you're gonna literally create a negative reality because of your fears. Exactly the same with lucid dreaming, exactly the same with physical reality, waking life, you know, all of these different planes of existence, what you focus on is what you get more of. So the second one is kind of, similar to the first one. And that is you should never second guess yourself. And this specifically applies to lucid dreaming, but also shifting. And that is when you're going into this stuff, you need to really keep your subconscious beliefs and your conscious beliefs at the same place where you believe you can do it. If you second guess yourself, if you start thinking, I don't know if this is gonna work, you know, I'm not sure, I'm not 100% confident, then you're gonna change what you actually experience. You know, in, in a lucid dream, you would then have a lucid nightmare where you lose control. In uh, waking life, you experience a life that you don't want to have, you know, if you're constantly focusing on the fearful, negative aspect of things. And in the same way with shifting, if you, if you second guess yourself, you'll shift to, you, well, two things will happen. Either you won't shift at all and nothing will happen, or you will shift to something you don't want to experience. The third one is really important and you should never try and shift before being subscribed to this channel. If you do, it just won't work, okay? <laughs> the fourth one, you should never try and shift to something that you don't want to experience. I just, I know this is kind of repeating the first and second ones, but there's a few people who will try and shift somewhere just to see what will happen. And a good example would be, I, I guess like Hogwarts or something uh, from Harry Potter. If you really want that, then fine. But just remember like in the movies, there are bad and good parts to that storyline. So if you shift to Hogwarts, then obviously as well as the kind of cute, British school castle vibes, you're also gonna experience the dangerous, scary, uh, harmful, negative side of like whatever, the monsters and demons. So just be careful that you, you're shifting to something you actually want and not something negative just to see kind of what happens as if it's like a virtual reality video game. This is very serious. You're shifting your awareness from one you know, tiny point in infinite awareness to another point. So you need to make sure that that point that you're shifting to is something you actually want. The next one is you should not become obsessive or overly attached to, well, either your current reality or the desired reality that you're gonna shift into. Because what this will do is this will link you energetically to that experience in not only this life, but in the next life and the next life and so on. And so when you're 
constantly reincarnating in some in an experience you don't want is something that you can change but if you constantly become obsessive and attached to physical things or even specific outcomes then you you're linking yourself energetically to that experience and then with shifting it just gets a bit complicated and in most cases that's not what you want i imagine I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I imagine you don't want to shift to Hogwarts, let's say, or to some alien planet and stay there forever for several lifetimes. So make sure that what you're shifting to, what you are trying to shift to is something that you want to shift to, you want to experience it. Because remember, you're using or you should be using all of your emotional energy to focus on this specific thing. And that's not, you know, you're not just messing around, that's really powerful. When you use your emotional energy in a certain way, focused on something, you will attract or manifest or get that thing. So it's really important to make sure you know what you want to experience.